Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe and come hang out with us in Discord. Hey guys, it's E-Man and Call Me King, and we are here for semis finals. Um, I can't lie, this is a match that I am not too excited about. <laughs> um, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, the big one being, the matchup is not great for us. Uh, I'm gonna go into the team super quickly what he has. He has Taylor Flygon, Bayleaf, Toxapex, Dralodon. Terra Okidagi, which is a monster. Um, Blood Moon, Yan Mega, Latios, Iron Bundle, and Samurat. Now, if you remember our nine, we don't really have a way to nor check half of these mods or even kill them. <laughs> this is a really, really bad matchup for us. This is definitely easily the worst matchup, um, which is funny because if we do win this, the finals person I think might be one of our best matchups as they have rain and stuff like that. So our team has a great matchup to it. Um, but we can't even think about that until we try to fight this one. Um, the six I think he's going to be bringing is Blood Moon, Okie Doggy, Flygon, Latios, Iron Bundle, and I kind of see Yen Mega, like a more of an HO-esque team as I'll be fully honest. He could just kind of be like, I'm going to click my buttons and just end this as fast as possible, not give him ways out, like no, give him no, no outs, no crits, none of that. No way to get out at all. Um, but I could see like Toxapex or Drowlone coming, especially if you want to try to do some sort of hazard spa um, stacking with like Toxapex. I could see it coming. Um, I, we, I'm i going to get into our mons, but I'll uh, I'll let you guys know right now. You could see our child on as our second mon. It's going to have to kill you this, <laughs> this week. Um, first things first, we have good old Snorlax. Big chunky boy. Um, we have good old AV because this absolutely eats iron bundle hits especially since we are thick fat so you can only go for hydro pumps which do around 30 percent um so we always beat this 1v1 we can always come in on ice moves we can always come in on flip tenants because we, we just have that 520 hp and we are max 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 hp max but have to make sure even if specs iron bundle comes we could still check it incredibly well um body slam is just for stab coverage as they just kind of does the most damage into this matchup stomping is because he has a lot of ground weaknesses supercell is for all the mods that fly <laughs> and then ice punch is specifically for nante flygon but also for ursa luna if we uh, need to get some chip on him um honestly that's kind of all i have try to check iron bundle he can be a backup blood moon check as he only takes like 30 percent 40 percent although max hp ice punch is only doing like 19 20 percent so if he's like a moonlight set or he can even 1v1 us pretty well if he's like a leftover set, so it's not going to be our Blood Moon check, but it can kind of check it, maybe. Um, next up is Big Arch. He's been our MVP this whole season, and we need him to clutch up this season. Well, th <laughs> not the season, but this match. Um, we got Terra Poison. As Terra Poison actually walls like 90% of the team, um, the mainly Okie Doggy is the one I like. Like, he can be stomping. Uh, a stomping tantrum or psychic fangs although both only do like 40 percent which is a lot don't get me wrong but if he's not av we're doing like 80 percent with draco um that's not even counting his terror if he's like terror dark body press can just delete him and if we're plus one ever stomping and stuff does no nothing um i also like terror poison as if he is st um, stomping a psychic fangs uh spoiler alert we have azelf on the team it is a super nice azelf switching as he will most likely not click you know a poison or anything like that or knock off into this oh maybe he'll click the first turn but yeah um poison's also just really nice as it's um pretty neutral to most of his team um but mainly hard walls toxapex and bayleaf which is you know eh. um but also Dralodon, his own Dralodon. so we can we wall four mods with this basically as poison, and I mean, of course, we wall Samurai no matter what here with this. Um, another nice thing is that if we don't tear, um, something that we always do is, you know, stay non tear for a couple turns as we wall certain mons, like we do that now still with our regular tear, and then we could tear out of our mon. So it's it had a lot of plays here with AB because it seems super special. Um, with Draco, Body Press, Thunderbolt, and Flash Cannon. Um, as you can see, we are max HP, max BDF. Um, with a modest nature to do some more damage. Thunderbolt, yet again, this is just purely coverage. Flash Cannon is for Terra Fairy Mons, if it's Terra Fairy Flygon, Terra Fairy Oki, mainly the Oki, um, as I could see that coming, because he does not have a Fairy type on his team. And Fairy is very good, especially into an Arch Alodon that I could spam Draco into, and his team hates that, so. Um, yeah, and then Thunderbolt is just nice neutral for stuff like Bundle and all that. Pretty much the really basic coverage set for this, but 
yet again, it's really, really hard for him to break this, and we need to hope he... Well, not hope, yeah, we just need to hope he doesn't... He can't kill this super quickly. Um, next up is... This mon. <laughs> Great Dusk. Um, kind of been underwhelmed with this mon this, this whole season, but hey, maybe he'll clutch up this, this week. Um, he is a Leftovers max HP um, defensive set with some speed. Um, he he has like almost max speed to outspeed and stuff like um, specifically Okie Doggy. I wanted to make sure I outspeed Okie Doggy to get Chip on this as Okie Doggy Chip, even 1-2% to is a game-breaking um, Chip for late-up mods like Azulf and stuff like that. Um, we have Stealth Fox as he has zero ha well, he has hazard removal, he has Defog Flygon, which it's not gonna come. There's no way it's gonna come. Um, well, I think I think Yon Mega maybe gets Defog, which yet again loves to click Specs and B Speed Boost, so that's really unlikely. Um, so this might be permanent. Stealth Fox into stuff like Iron Bundle and uh, Iron Bundle. <laughs> um, but we have the very basic Ice Spin a Close Combat Earthquake set for most. Co this is our o main Okie Doggy check as Psychic Fang only does like 40. We can kill him with EQ or Close Combat if he's Tark or if he just stays as Typing. If he's most other typings, we can Ice Spinner, but Ice Spinner is just really nice for pretty much his entire team here. Um, he does have a really, really big Ice Weakness, as his Ice Resist is a Iron Bundle, so we can really use that as an advantage. Um, yeah, this is purely here to take Okie Doggy hits and get out, pretty much. Uh, that's kind of all I have. If He, he might just, on, he's going to be the first mine to get sacked if I need to, as this most likely will be a Sack War, because his team is super offensive. Um, next up is Assault Vest Pumarina. I love all these assault vests we have. <laughs> um, this is purely for the big old blood moon as max HP and uh, as you can see, max HP with some special attack and some speed death. Uh, we can take two blood moons. We can only take a blood moon into an earth power into another blood moon. As although I would I would have to be throwing so hard if that happens. As I I always kill surf. Um, and we have a learn voice for specifically set up a drag uh flygon if he's going to try to be a terror poison or steel set and try to click d dance i am going to stop him with a learn voice i i need to as i don't have a great check to flygon as i will talk about it as our very next mod um but flygon it pretty much can six so on the spot if we just let it get plus one it for free um, flip turn for obvious reasons just you know momentum's really nice and psychic noise is for that okie doggy um, if we can catch him off a tear, like if he's not tailored yet, or if he doesn't tear and he just tears Flygon, oh boy, we're about to either kill him if he's not AV, or if he is AV, we're doing 70%, so that is going to be massive. And, um, a second to last mod, big old Chestnut, coming like every week, he has another leftover set, uh, our items are so unique this week. Um, max HP, max defense, defense nature, we're trying to wall this Flygon, we don't. Um, <laughs> dual wing beat. He's still two Okos us. Um, I am Spiky Shield leftovers for that reason, as we could take a dual wing beat, Spiky Shield, and then with the leftovers cover, we could take one more um, and get a little bit of chip off him. But this is, it's such a bad flygon check, as if he's something like Terra Fairy, I'm kind of screwed. Um, which is crazy to say, as he most likely could be Terra Fairy, as yet again, he doesn't have a fairy type, and that's really good here. So, in hindsight, I should maybe, I don't know, on like Iron Head or Poison Jab as a, a nice neutral ground as I can always wall Flygon basically. That, that, that was kind of a misplay on my end I think. Um, I'm just saying this as like as you know going in before the match or after whatever you want to say just just you know hindsight basically. I, mean, I mainly went for body press as it one shots almost everything on the team actually. It one shots um, Bundle, Duraludon, Blood Moon, um, it two shots Samurai and knock off his nice chip and also two shots Latios with items so and since for obvious reasons. And now for a final mon, and my main win con is good old Choice Scarf Azelf. This outspeeds everything, even Scarf except Bundle. If you Scarf Bundle or boost the speed Bundle, uh, then we don't outspeed, but we outspeed everything. And we have a very basic Dazzling Gleam, Energy Power, Mythical Power, and a U-turn set. Um, as we are Mythical Power because if we ever get plus one and something like Latios is just not healed or dead because he doesn't have a Dark type, I can actually just win the game on the spot. Um, as plus one will be doing around like 80% to almost in this entire team, except Lottie, and plus two will always one-shot everything, even AV Mon, the EV Light Mons, which is crazy to say. Um, 
But yeah, that's really good here. U-turn U-turn damage is great here, as he has a lot of he has like he has Latios, which we like to come in front of. Possible Terror Dark Oki Doggy, which is really nice. U-turn's just great momentum here, um, and also it does a good chip to uh, Bayleaf. And then yeah, Energy Ball does great for obvious reasons. A lot of dragons, a lot of waters. So uh, yeah, that's that's our team for this. Uh, this might be honestly our very last week, as like I said. This is a hard matchup, and I'll be fully honest, I have really, really low hopes. I need to play really well this week. Um, when I mean that, I mean I quite literally need to make a amazing prediction, around two amazing predictions, like, for him to just be a sack behind. That's, that's the best way I could put it. If I can make two amazing predictions to be a sack in front, like, if I can sack, like, if I can predict a fly gun coming in and I fairy or something along those lines, I think I have a chance. Before that, I can just tell you right now, there's not a good chance, just because, like I said, the matchup is really hard for us. And I don't like saying that, but sometimes it, it is just how it is. But, um, and again, hey, who knows, I might pop off in this match. And, uh, basically you're gonna have to see. See you in the match. Hello, hello. Um, it is time to get my ass whooped. So, he did bring both Flygon and Okie Doggy, which is not what I wanted to see. <laughs> <laughs> um, we know Okie Doggy's Terra Dark, and we know Flygon is Terra... Fucker! Oh, he's Fairy! Okay, Fairy. I thought, I thought it was, he said Fly, and I was gonna cry. Okay, that's well, not terrible. Um, he also did bling... Yeah, this is like the ex Oh, wait, never mind, I see a fucking Bayloom. <laughs> oh, Bayleaf. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um... I'm excited to see what the Bayleaf does, and then Latios. I'm, I'm, I'm letting everyone know I'm vibing the fuck out right now. I'm just listening to music at full blast, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the flow is the best way I'm doing this. Um, mainly because I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel super great into this. Um, this team really does a good job at fucking mine. Um. I think he's either gonna lead Iron Bundle. What else would he could lead? I guess he could also lead like <sighs> Iron Bundle and maybe a good old Blood Moon lead. I don't know. I think I think best case is still just do this. I reveal Scarf instantly, and it's one of those circumstances where it's like eh, whatever. Um, yeah, and it's, it's not great to do that, but also he'll probably know from turn one. I just I I I I need the good lead, you know. Oh boy. <laughs> So, good luck have fun to my opponent, as he's going to fuck my shit up. What is he leading? What is this? Lottie. Okay. So, I was kind of ready about that. Um, so, we know for a fact we outspeed this guy, because I am Choice Scarf, and even if he's Choice Scarf, we're quite fine with this. Latios, into me. Um, I am going to U-turn, as U-turn will do like 40%, so... Let's see if he just stays in. Um, he might go for f what thing? I don't know. He could also just go for the big Draco, as Draco has a, um, 62% chance to just kill me on the spot. If he's got, if he's specs, he can just go for it. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, yep, I did like 40%. Very fine with me, I will gladly take that, as he is now in Dazzling Grim range. Um, as my Latios, Latios, <laughs> my check to this is, uh, Hold up, I'm searching, boys. Boys, I'm searching. What? Well, <laughs> what is my check? I mean, I guess I can go prim and then just not, never have a blood moon check. Am I raw like that? I guess. Why not? I'll be raw like that, and we'll see based on damage what he is. Um, Thunderbolt. I want to see what like, Thunderbolt's gonna do. He does just flip turn, so he's most likely Sky. He is most likely Scarf doing that. Um, so either Iron Bundle or Bayleaf is coming out, both of which I'm fine with. I guess Okie Dog can come out. Okie Dog is Terror Dark. So that's good to know. So we'll see what he goes into. Ah. Uh, he Okie Dog, I'm gonna have a little bit of thoughts that he might be AV, just to like always confirm. Um, 
Um, man, bear, pig. Okay. Man, bear, pig. Um. Okie dokie. Well, knowing that he's Taylor Dyke, we just so go into extinction here. Okay. Let's see what he goes for. As Gen Punch is doing like 20, Poison Jab is doing 10. Let's go for the good old knockoff Taylor Dyke. Let's see how much that's gonna do. 15 to 15 percent. Then we're fine with this. <laughs> Him swapping into this is making me think he is AV. As like, if I just get this prediction, oh, he doubles out. Good play. I'm gonna say I am faster. So, what is this? Blood Moon. Oh. So he must have thought something else was coming out. I guess. What did he think was gonna come out? Lisa Major. Okay. Um, well, you're gonna die from this. Okay. Oh, you don't die actually from this. You can take a you can take a CC actually. Interesting. So he he might just he might have predicted this fight and just gone for it. Or maybe he thought like Ultra coming out. I, I mean, it's, it really sucks, but I think I might have to just let this die. The damage. Yeah, I'm gonna just go for it. Okay, aw, oh, he's Choppleberry. Okay, makes sense. So maybe he did predict this. Um, I'm gonna die. Um, but I guess that's fine as I got a chip on it. Goodbye, Extinction. Mm -mm. Okay. And how do you deal with his Uber's team without extinction? And Bayleaf. Um. Yeah, no, I think I just go into this then. And I click flip to him. And I don't think he wants this to die. I mean, I guess he could let it die. I'm gonna flip turn out. I don't think he's gonna stay in. Yeah, good. It's good to know that he's not a, um, what's it called? A AV set, though? We know you'll Eevee Light for sure. Give you a light to you. Okay. Um, I know Bailey Fatcher pretty well. I've been using it. So I know this guy gets a lot of annoying things like knockoff and etc. Um, how much is Latios gonna take from a knockoff from Chesla? You die. Okay, yeah, so we just go into this then a knockoff. Yeah, we just do this then. It sucks losing extension a lot, but at least we got a lot of info, and um, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda expected a very sacky game on my end, as I can't really, I just can't, I don't have switch ins to these mods. I don't have a switch into half his team. There's something that didn't that didn't come, which I'm glad. Um, there goes his Eviolite. So no more Eviolite for you. You're gonna also knock me off? Oh, you're going for screens. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um the flex up I bet I bet Bloodman could take one now huh hmm I hate that oh yeah you take that I guess Drake is doing 80% and if you get the light screen up I think that's okay then you probably want to get light screen up this turn what else can he go into I think I go into Gaijul here. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to counter this. I don't know if I can. I think it's... It's crazy to say, but game might be almost over. I don't know how I could deal with this fully. I just don't have a great way to deal with this. 
Um, I mean, Body Slam's gonna do like negative five damage to Bayleaf, but I definitely go for the Body Slam here. That light screen is up. Um, yeah, I think we just do that. We know it's not Light Clay, luckily. So it is just three more turns and stuff. I want a body press here. Maybe he'll stay in and just let Stall come out. I gotta stop certain mons coming in, so that's why I'm doing this primarily. I mean, Flygon well, can always just come in, however, and click EQ. And I think I kind of lose because of that. Yeah, I don't really know how I can win this. I know it's so early into the game, I just... That's how bad the matchup is for me. I don't really know what I can do. I really don't know what to do. Okay, he goes... Okie doggy. So maybe he's trying to get my terror out. Which I'm kind of fine with. Like Rocky Helmet? No. I mean, he could also be setting up. He could just try to bulk up and stuff. Um, honestly, that's probably what he's gonna do here. I really don't see a good way out of this. I think I tear here. And go for a flash cannon. Which is literally gonna do 15%. Non- if he's non-AV. If he's AV, we're fucked. Ugh, he could just start bulking up. But I wanna do this, maybe I could bait out his tear. I don't know. I think he just doesn't tear here and he's good to go. He's a knockoff. Well, now I'm plus one, I guess. And he doesn't tear. Um, plus one. Okay, he's AV. Okay, at least he can't set up in front of us. Take. If he's AV, <laughs> I I don't know what to do here. I mean, if I if I uh, I'm still taking like 38 percent from a poison jab. They could go for a stomping. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna see if he goes for an, like a stomping tantrum or a psychic fangs. Okay, good. <clears throat> Yet again, we're just doing this. Yep, there he goes. There goes for flux. We're just trying to stall out. There's one more turn of light screen. Yes. Good. So he might tear right here, and because of that, I'm just going to swap out. Uh, like I said, I'm just here to stall out turns. Okay, so maybe we're kind of back in this. Kind of. Um, especially no Eevee Light Bayleaf. At least I could do a little bit more damage, but... Yeah, him getting screens one more time up is, you know, sucky. But, yet again, this mod being AV is good, as we know it's not going to set up in front of us. I mean, that doesn't stop to fly gone in <laughs> Blood Moon, too. <laughs> but, yeah. Let's see what he goes into. Bayleaf, okay. I just about to do. Okay. I don't think I have any way to kind of kill this. Um, Bayleaf was like, I don't know. Um, he actually looks to be like max defense, so I don't know. Go small lock to see how much I'm about to do to him. Not a lot.
Ugh, I might have to go arch and just clip Draco, which sucks because I give him momentum there. But if I can't let this thing to get screens again. Ah, I guess he's like max speed. I think he can outspeed me. Yeah, he can outspeed him. He's like max speed basically, which would suck. But I, I, I think I have to. He's at okay. He's at like literally exactly fifty percent. He's at like fifty-one percent. Um, I think I have to click right there here. I hope he's not fast. If he's fast, fuck you. <laughs> I'd be mad if well. I mean, if so, how would he take that U-turn so well? That's the thing, though. I mean, I guess I can miss and I just lose on the spot, maybe, right here? We'll see. If we can kill this, I do feel better into this-ish. I mean, I am about to give Blood Moon a free switch in and get a kill, but hey, at least I'm, you know, stopping his Primarina checks. Okay, we hit. This should die. Awesome. Bailey is down, no more screens, that is good, as he is most likely D-Dance Flygon. We, he, it seems like he's trying to keep Tail Flygon in the back and more than Okie Doggy, so I'm gonna try to keep that in mind. That Okie Doggy will most likely not tear. Okay. So, Blood Moon comes in, gets a free kill, I think. I mean, I guess I can go put him, take an Oath Power, but not really. All Blood Moon. Um, yeah, okay. But basically, anything can come in right now. And I am minus two. I mean, even Flygon can come in. Yeah, Flygon can very much come in. Ugh. Okay, no, he goes good, good. He goes the Mon that I wanted. Big Us. Um, I'm not plus one. How much is Vusaluna? I can put body parts. 37 to... F okay. There we go, you. I didn't even click the big red button. Next league I'm in, I gotta draft Blood Moon Man. On my showdown leagues? Woo! He's gone crazy, but look at him. Look at him! He's so fire. We eat that up. Um, I mean, he doesn't have a super great surf answer, but Okie Doggy is indeed, um, what's it called? Um, AV. So how much is Okie Doggy gonna take to Primarina? Salt list. I'm gonna go for this then. If we can, if we can just kill the Okie Doggy, we have a chance into this match. We have a good chance. I mean, he could just try to sack this, I guess, as it's gonna be tough to get it back in but yet again it is just a free kill after this like next time he gets it in it is a free kill every single time yes come on go mr man be a big 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 beer yeah baby fucking fuck you dog let's go oh. die bitch yeah okay quit definitely matted sorry about that <laughs> but i'm gonna take it as and, you know, you guys know, if you guys watch my content, you guys know how stupidly lucky I got into my semifinals match in my other leagues, so I feel good about that after after some 0.8% 0, 0. chance happening in my other leagues. I'll take a crit. Um, he's in a terrible position now. We have a chance now. We indeed have a chance, as we can check these mons, besides Flygon, actually. Flygon's a, a big foot. I gotta be careful. Um, Fairy's really bad as my body press is gonna do nothing with Chestnut, so Chestnut's really terrible. Chestnut's really terrible, okay. Hmm. I got the big foot. <clears throat> okay. That's Flygon. Well, now he's definitely gonna uh, tear because <laughs> he doesn't have another reason to. Okay. I, I think I have to just stay in, take whatever. Okay, I'm at 97 HP. 52%, so he has a, a pretty good chance to kill me, actually. And Moonblast or Alone Voice will kill him. However, if he tear fairies, 
I cook a boy in a lone voice every time here. As if he sets up, I confuse him. If he doesn't, if he sets up and stays non-terror, I kill him. Okay, he tears. He's not feeling. I actually really want him to set up. I really want him to set up. It's definitely set up in this, right? Like, surely. I mean, he could just cook EQ. Yes, wait a minute, hold up, we have a chance. He's plus one, but now he's confused. This is why I packed a lone voice. Because now he's confused. Are you Lumberry? You might be Lumberry, honestly. Is that Lumberry? Oh, it's leftovers. Okay, so now he has to go for the confusion hit. He has to go for the confusion hit. He has to go for it. Um, I think I, I have to do this as if he if he doubles DD, we're in a bad situation. Hit yourself! Hit yourself! Hit yourself! Hit yourself! Hit yourself! No! <laughs> I could have went as off there, but it's okay. Okay. That's okay. Back and dance. A plus one shouldn't know speed up though. Okay. No, Azelf does indeed outspeed. I don't know what he goes for though. Ugh, I guess, oh wait, but mythical power doesn't kill. So, um... I think I have to go for the- I, I need- I need him to miss. Or get hit, I mean. We'll have a move that can't kill me. Hit yourself! Hit yourself! Hit yourself! Hit yourself! Come on! Come on! Come on! No! Is Tail Blast gonna kill me? Probably. No? It shouldn't. Okay. Non plus one. Hold up. 10%. Come on. Come on. Come on. He dodged he dodged 350-50 so far. I can dodge 50 uh 10%. Yes! Flygun's dead! Okay, I feel super good into this now. I feel so good into this. Okay, let's go, baby. Let's go. Good job, Azolf. Good job. You're kind of a little underwhelming this whole season, and now you're clutching up. Let's go. Okay. I'm not nervous. You're nervous. Okay. Uh, I feel like he has to go Latios here. Yes, he does go Latios. How much is uh, my mystical power doing? 34 to 50%. Do I keep you around? I think I need to keep you around, actually. Yeah, I kind of need to. Um, Reinhardt's not really useful here. We, you're screaming Scarf. Um, so I am willing to just go into this. Also, it seems like Iron Bundle's not booster. As he would've just went into that right there. That's fine. This was just a sack. I didn't care what he went for. I think it would kill too, so. So he's locked into Luster Purge. I could just go into this actually and click U turn, right? I can actually just go into this and click Dazzling Gloom. How much is Snorlax gonna take, I guess? 20%. I don't think I need to risk any of this. I think I just click a nice ice punch into this team. I think his out is Luster Purge, um... Special defense drop into, I guess, Blood Moon? How much is 
much you're not gonna do? How much you're not gonna do? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what do you want? I could take one. Okay. Um, I think you have a- maybe a chance he can even- oh. Oh, he's not locked in! He's not locked- okay, well, that's good to know, I guess. What item are you, then? Interesting. Yeah, I don't care what he goes into, I like, can just kill stuff. Okay. Big Usa comes out. Nice punch. Does not get into this fuck. That was my best move and it did jack shit into him. Wow. Hmm. An eye travel on some no, I'm not I'm never taking this. <laughs> I'm just never taking this. I'm not even AV. Oh wait, actually non AV, I'm taking 40 cent, really? Some of Blood Moon? I mean I could go into this and click Draco. Cause I need HP on I need HP. Do I need this around? When he has no, Nathaniel's more important here. Next time I can get Nathaniel and I'm good. So let's do this. We can always go into- Also, we'll get a plus one boost from this. Oh no, wait, this is not- Oh, I'm dead. Oh, it clicks Moonlight. Oh. Okay. Good to know. I'm not- I, I didn't calc poison. Me too. I mean, there's a chance I would live, so... Um, I think we have to go for a Draco here. And get the 60 to 70%. Yet again, if he's like max speed, I think he can outspeed me. No, I- I- I outspeed. I want- uh, that's if he's not timid. But no, he can't take that little from an ice punch. Oh, I guess if he's no special attack investment. Which if he is, then he got a really good roll. Okay, this should get a kill. Okay. Bundle's dead. Minus two now. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm not doing much into him now. How much does Azelf need? Energy Ball's doing 63%. What's doing more? Draco. I do this. I hit it. Here call mine, I guess good game. Okay, he kills me. That's actually what I want, unless I live. I actually did live, okay. Well now I'm plus one. I'm plus minus four though. Um I'm just clicking body press. Ingo Latios. Although he's at 50%, which I don't think he wants to do that. Yeah, no, because if he does that, then he just loses. Let's go! Let's go! I think we win this then. As I don't see how Latios can even do anything to Snorlax. Oh, it's Alan in the fucking clutch, dude! This guy has gone every single week and has not fucking been underwhelming at all. This guy's gone crazy. Um. Minus four. Draco's actually doing more still, so we still just go for this. We got him. So he, he might, I think he's just gonna kill me, but I had to make sure, you know? Okay. And now I think we can go Azelf. Azelf actually massive clutch up here, too. Taking that tail blast. I mean, I guess I guess he could be AV, which is if he's AV, he loses still. 
Yeah, that I can just click Dazzling Gleam, die, and then Snorlax. He has to get like, no, he can't even kill me yet. I don't know. I guess, no, then we can cover. No, we can't, can't, can't. I'm thinking of everything, man. Um, Dazzling Gleam's my best move. Let's go, baby! We are in finals. Let's go. Holy shit. I can't lie. I think I only won that because of luck. He played amazing. His team was perfect into my matchup. And most importantly, he had the great matchup into me. I simp- uh, I guess he- If he hit himself with Flygon, then it's fine. But the critical on Okie Doggy kind of matters. I'm gonna ask him after the match if he had speed investment. If he did not have speed investment, Okie Doggy never matters. If he did- definitely mattered as he can just revenge kill me afterwards um with prim even though he'd be low and then we'd be in the same situation but i wouldn't have prim to uh deal with the uh flygon but then yet again i guess i would i don't know it would, it, it's actually really tough because i just realized i was upset from killing okie doggy though because i wanted i wanted snowlocks to come out i don't know it's really tough actually because it's like if i can get a free switch into chestnut or um Snorlax, it, it, it was very much terrible for him. That's why it's really fine with Pumina going down. So it's honestly really tough to say, hey, even with that crit, it matters. I think it it still definitely does, as, like, yet again, he could an Oki. Maybe he does a double out and goes into something else. Um, th there's a lot that could happen, you know? Um, I'm just trying to think of, like, if the same match basically happened, the same turns, um, but the Oki Doggy was still around slash, you know, traded with a Primarina, I think... I don't know. Like, I think it would be good in my favor. Yeah, especially since I could pair... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yet again, it, it, it's hindsight. And knowing that he's Terror Blast, it would have been really... I, I think it would have been really tough for him. Even in that situation afterwards. Just getting that damage off Okia was the biggest play, so... Um, but yeah, Juju's my opponent, and we actually make finals, which is amazing. So, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll, uh... I'll see Flygon in the in finals, which is gonna be so crazy. And uh, I'll see you guys in the final week. Later.